Hey guys, this is a part 2 to my health potion dice roller from a few weeks ago. In that video I made a large health potion dice roller for D&D, but there were a few issues with it I'm going to fix in this video. Firstly, I didn't provide a source for the bottle I used, because I didn't have one. The bottle in that video I found while on a caving trip some years ago. I don't know where you can get another one like it. However, while browsing Ikea the other day, I found this vase. I'm not even going to try to say that, but I've been told it means perfect to make a health potion out of in Swedish. Anyways, this vase also solves a couple of other issues my other version had. For one, it was massive. It looks really cool, but in practice I always felt like I was going to accidentally throw it across the room every time I shook it. The IKEA vase was much smaller, maybe about half the size of the original. The vase also has a nice concave neck that makes it very easy to hold with one hand and it doesn't feel like I'm going to lose it all the time. As far as looks go, I'm not the biggest fan of the swirls, but I don't hate them either. For this new bottle, I have also designed some new dice. These are smaller and I like the proportions of them more. They also have small hearts to designate the value of a side, which I think is kind of cute. Link to these down below. Now onto the build. As always, it's personal preference what you really do here, but this is what I did to mine. I've decided to go for a much simpler look for this one, so no wax. I'm also choosing not to put anything to block the neck of the bottle in this one. I am going to do another wrap and a tag. Apart from that, there's not much more to do apart from fill the bottle with water and red food dye, and then add the dice and the cork. I use a wine bottle cork that I cut the edges down a bit, so it fit. The cork doesn't feel like it's going anywhere, but I still press down the cork with a thumb while shaking, just to be safe. And here's the finished product. If you have access to a printer, you can make one of these for under $5. Thanks as always for watching, and see you later.